In a direct blow to immigrants, the U.S. authorities have launched small-scale operations to arrest undocumented families over the weekend. The operation is an incentive to U.S. President Donald Trump's plan to deport thousands of migrant families. It is expected to target the recently arrived families in about 10 cities who have been ordered to leave the country by a court judge. The U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or the ICE, had mounted raids on Saturday but had not been successful. On Sunday, these immigrants were held on standby for mass arrests, but no major raid was reported. The removal operations are meant to deter a surge in Central American families seeking asylum in the United States. Most of them migrated to escape poverty and gang, and gang violence in their home countries. In response to a question on immigration raids, this is what the New York mayor said. This is what we know at this hour. Three situations yesterday that we, were, we have confirmed, and you indicated them, uh, involved ICE agents, uh, duly confirmed by eyewitnesses, were convinced that's what it was. In no case did the ICE agent find the individual they were looking for. And then at this hour today, Bita just checked again, literally no activity yet today. So I want to remind people, one, remember a few weeks back, the President of the United States said he was going to literally deport all undocumented people and it was going to be a massive raid starting right away, and that didn't happen. I don't know what's happening in other cities. I don't know what you guys are hearing. At least 38 people have been detained in Moscow during an unsanctioned rally. The opposition leaders of Russia held a protest over a potential ban on opposition candidates running for Moscow's parliamentary election. The election commission rejected several sponsored candidates, saying that they did not get enough number of signatures to participate. But it is yet to officially announce the list for the 8th September election. Activists and several critics of Vladimir Putin met voters over this issue, and this meeting transformed into a march to the city mayor's office. The demonstrators demanded that the candidates be registered. They also chanted anti-government and anti-Putin slogans. The police arrested several opposition candidates who participated in the march. Курс финансово-экономической политики, проводимый правительством Путина, полный банкрот. Мы считаем, что без смены этого курса, без формирования правительства народного доверия, без поддержки лучших народных коллективов, которые показывают даже в этих условиях образец работы, ничего положительного, позитивного для простого человека быть не может. А простому человеку оставили безработицу, вымирание и нищую зарплату и абсолютно нищую пенсию. Now, this is not the first time that anti-Kremlin activists have been barred from running for parliamentary seats. During the 2018 presidential election, Alexei Navalny, a prominent opposition leader, was not allowed to take part. Officials said that it was due to a suspended prison sentence.